You can convert a two-dimensional image into a 3D image by using the displace filter. Let's talk about how to do that. You have to draw a depth map. So let's create a layer on top of our image. And I chose this image particularly because the stone wall goes from very, very close in the foreground to very far away in the background. So I'll set my foreground and background colors to black and white and use the gradient tool to draw a very simple depth map from foreground to background. So things that are black will be closer, white will be further away. Of course you can do this arbitrarily either way depending on uh, which image is the right image and which image is the left. You can flip it easily. So I'll take the opacity down a bit so I can see the image through my depth map. And now I need to start filling in details. I've got this uh, rough gradient for this wall. Uh, I've got some leaves up here that are a little bit closer and this branch that's quite a bit closer. So I'll make a guess and say this branch is roughly about 40% of the image width here uh, on, on, on the gradient created on this wall. So I'll shut off the background and use the eyedropper tool to select that shade of gray and then zoom in on that area and pick a, a brush. A soft edged uh, uh, airbrush is probably good and start painting in that, uh, that branch to, to bring it up closer. Now, there's also a bunch of uh, leaves around here that aren't quite as close. Some of them probably are, so I'll start painting in some of these leaves and of course I'm doing this very fast now. You want to do this in a lot more detail and a lot more carefully. Uh, I'll take this level and uh, let's move it back a little bit further by making it lighter and paint some of these other leaves in here. And again I'm doing this pretty fast. Here we can probably even go a little bit lighter these leaves way back here. Now let's work on the body. It's probably about 50% of the way in uh, to this gradient. So again I'll sample um, the shade of gray right around there. And I'll get my brush tool, get a little bit bigger here, and start filling in the body. And naturally, again, I'm doing this really fast. You want to do it with some more detail. And of course, you, you want to use um, your shades of gray to bring things up closer and push things further behind. So let's make this just a hair darker to bring the front of the body up a little bit closer. So we'll paint the front of the body. And the nose here. Let's bring it in even a little bit darker to take care of this uh, fanny pack here that's sitting in the front. So you continue doing this and create your depth map. Let's take a look at it. And you probably want to blur it a bit. Uh, let's add a Gaussian blur and get, get rid of any sharp edges so we don't have any drastic uh, um, depth changes. And now let's take that image and duplicate it into a new document. And we'll call this document depth map. So now we'll take this new document and save it as depth map. And we don't need it anymore. We can get rid of this layer. Um, I'm going to copy the image and Put it on layer one as well and apply that depth map to this layer. So I go into my filter, distort, displace. Here the horizontal scale tells it how much it'll displace depending on the shade of gray. And of course the vertical scale you want to set to zero because you don't want to move anything vertically. Play with the horizontal value depending on the resolution of your image and how bright and dark of shades of gray you used. It'll come up and ask you for your uh, depth map. So you open the depth map and it'll apply it. So you can see that it's shifted the image to
to uh, uh, in response to that depth map. So now I can move uh, the layers around, see where the uh, window stereo window is, and crop the image roughly like that. And I can uh, set it side by side. And there you have a cross-eyed stereo view. If you look at it, it's got some distortions around the side of the face and the uh, leaves aren't exactly right, but you see how quickly we did that. And if you take more time and effort and uh, make a, a really good depth map, you can make a really good stereo image.